After the greatest challenge to his rule in more than 20 years, Russian President Vladimir Putin is trying to make a show of stability. But Secretary of State Antony Blinken says the turmoil and near mutiny in Russia have revealed cracks in Putin's power that could have implications for the ongoing war in Ukraine. NBC's Alice Barr has the latest. Global fallout today from this weekend's short-lived but dramatic armed rebellion in Russia when the Wagner mercenary group seized a key Russian city and marched stunningly close to Moscow before apparently striking a deal and turning around. It posed the biggest threat to President Vladimir Putin's power in more than 20 years. President Biden saying he's been in close coordination with NATO allies. We gave Putin no excuse to blame this on the West or to blame this on NATO. We made clear that we were not involved. The Russian mercenary chief, Yevgeny Prigozhin, filmed Saturday among a cheering crowd in the Russian city his men had captured, is now believed to be in Belarus. In a new audio recording today, he says he was not trying to oust Putin from power, but acted to protect his fighters, who he claims without evidence Russian forces had intentionally bombed. Prigozhin says his mercenary troops have refused demands to be absorbed into the Russian military, whose leadership he has forcefully accused of botching the invasion of Ukraine. I think we've seen more cracks emerge in the, the Russian facade. It is too soon to tell exactly where they go. President Biden says he's been in close contact with Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky, seen today greeting troops near the war's front lines. President Putin addressing the Russian people tonight, vowing to hold the rebellion's organizers accountable while thanking the individual Wagner Group troops for stopping their march and avoiding bloodshed as Moscow scrambles to project authority with the world watching. In Washington, Alice Barr, NBC News.